everybody, and welcome to Ascendant with Bearded Narwhal, also known as Ben. Let's get going again. Feeling good after last night, and, um, you know what? I'm gonna play Midas, because, um, I feel like getting mad again. <laughs> Look at this guy almost beating the game again and picking Midas because he thinks he's good. Who does he think he is? I don't know. Someone who likes playing Midas, I guess. Am I in that class of people now? Okay, no influence yet. Nothing to capitalize on Midas' early game on. Of course! I say no influence and it's like, oh, you want influence? Here's a health upgrade. Psych. <laughs> Here's... Here's some influence. Um, thanks for taunting me in the face game. What is that? That's 100 influence. 50 for a normal player, but I'm Midas. So, uh, thank you for, uh, for giving me more influence. Oh my... You know how I said I wanted influence, right? And this happened? 300 influence? <laughs> Stop it now. That's enough. <laughs> I, I've got it now. 433 on World 1. And one more monkey. Key. Okay. So, uh, we're dead. <laughs> Should I visit my shop on this floor? Spikes always get me. Like, something about that hits my funny bone in the right way. All I touch turns to gold. Looks like it's an upgrade list. Um, <laughs> upgrade list game. Okay. Feathers. Gravity down. Greater soul shard. So that's just a normal spell, but better. And that's health. I don't think I have the breath of to lock to lock. Okay. Um. <laughs> player gravity down. <laughs> I'm light as a feather. I think that's the joke. And I'm still used to kind of having more jumps as my uh, last run with Theseus, but um, jumping um, feather like. Oh, good God. Can't get me grunty? The game's like, what I, why would I do that? You don't want to fight grunty. You want a hard battle. I really don't. First good play of the game. That's the first time I've actually seen them. First time I've ever seen them just like um, shoot where I am, not where I'm going to be. And let's take the shockwave one. And please give me more keys. Um, if I do get more keys, shops. Sorry, I needed to uh, drink something there. Um, shops become wonderful if we have keys. Shops are. Oh god. Okay, just giving us more of a reason. To crave keys. What's that sound? 
Something seems wrong with the audio in game. Hold on one moment. I'm gonna turn down the audio for a second. The game will freeze. There we go. I what I did was I didn't turn it down for me, I turned it down for my video so you hear less of it. There we go. All you touch turns to gold. There we go. That's what we want. Less stuff. Breath of Tlock, and what's our current breath? Breath of Lysa. What's the Breath of Lysa do? Because if it's a breath that we could use right now, it's a breath we're going to use right now. It causes madness in enemies and bloodlust in the player for 15 seconds. Slain enemies replenish health. I don't want that. Not yet. Maybe by the end of the floor I'll want it? Turn gold, everyone. Oh my god, I haven't gotten a single... I've gotten plenty of upgrades. spend a lot here. Okay. Gave me enough influence to buy. Worth it. We're gonna spend a lot here. Maybe we can get a key. My greed will be in my doing, huh? Breath of Fortuna do? Let's find out. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like the, the scribbles. Uh, that's just like... That just means it's gonna give me a random effect. I feel like this is where Midas can really shine if he has enough influence. Heart. Armored heart. We're getting a little out of this. We're actually, right now, we're getting stuff back for it, so. More influence. If it keeps doing that, we can play this forever and just keep stocking up health pools. Okay, I've gotten orange weapons out of these before, so if you're confused as to why I'm doing it, it's because I really want to see that again. day game. <laughs> Watch someone in the comments be like, you can't get weapons from the easy ding dong. I totally just like, okay. I spend most of my day uh, watching Northern Line streams, so if that seems a little uh, too much like him, it's because um, picking up speech habits from things you watch is just natural. Got a lot of stuff going on here. I wonder how many things I need to have in the room for the game to be like, stop it.
Okay. Got our influence back again. All I really want is like a key. That's the blessing of Fortuna. Dashing leaves the trail of poison. What the blessing of Fortuna does, we found out, is it gives you a random blessing. So, um, the more blessing of Fortunas we get, the better we're going to do on the earlier floors. And I'm... Um, I'm sorry if this is boring, I'm perfectly fine with running this all day until it pays out. I was about to say this is kind of like an arcade in Binding of Isaac, but it, it it's exactly like a, a arcade in Binding of Isaac. You gotta spend money to make money. Well, I'm not making money, I'm making things, but... Give me a key. <laughs> That's all I want from you. I don't even know if you can get a key out of this. I wonder if you can get health out of this. <laughs> As it answers with a full heart. I'm willing to go down to a hundred. So that's where I, that's where I end this this madness. Yeah, I'll go down to 50. Might even come back if I get more. What's up there? Just more health? Okay. Wanna pay out with a weapon? I've got Midas' starting weapon here. It's going by pretty quickly now. that armored heart in case I get hurt by something. <laughs> it's running out of space on that plane, so it doesn't really know what to do. Gave us 20 more, so it wants us to keep playing. <laughs> so, uh, I took that one, because why not? Ooh. The game minimized. For a second, I was afraid it crashed. Ooh. Pillar of Flame. Summons a column of flame for the, the impact point that damages enemies as they pass through it. Ooh. Damages enemies. <laughs> um, so that's totally worth it. One more time. <laughs> One more time. Okay. That's just good fun. So we didn't get a key. That's okay. We did get a lot of stuff. We got a poison dash, we got this cool new spell. Come on. Um, I feel like it's gonna be a lot better on bosses than it's gonna be on uh, enemies. Another armored heart. There you go. <laughs> and here's a chest room. Balor gives me an eye to attack. Okay, so that's what that does. Someone's a rain cloud. 
And uh, we've got enough armored hearts to say that this boss fight should be a win. Unfortunately, the burrower is never a sure win. Just because I'm bad. <laughs> Thank you. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> that's so... Oh, okay, that's an insane spell. Okay. I'm gonna choose this just because that hitting enemies and being able to make a torrent of... Uh, Torrents of leaves is hilarious to me. And we're going to go back and get that armored heart or two that I left. In fact, Influence back. Yep. We're going to spend all of it. feel good if we leave this floor without um, spending all of our stuff because we have a random item room here. One, two more casts it looks like. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we did it. We, we spent all of our cash and we got the twig again. And this twig has bonus damage against bosses, so... This is our new auto attack! <laughs> That's... <laughs> That's... <laughs> Let them all burn in anguish. <laughs> um... So, we did it! <laughs> we, we made the stupidest run I could have ever <laughs> made. Um, hopefully we get a better spell, but this is so, this is so funny right now, um, <laughs> that I'm, I'm perfectly fine. Um, I'm sure there's a couple people watching that that were like, why is he still, like, operating that? He should just move on. And then I got that and they were like, well, well, fuck. <laughs> That's... Welcome to the flame dome. <laughs> okay. All right. So <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so giddy. And that's, that's wonderful. Um, this is just so, uh, so obnoxious and so strange. I've never thought I'd ever see a run like this. <laughs> we killed both of them. Oh, okay, spell damage. We're not gonna unlock that because we don't have enough uh, influence yet. I'm so glad that paid out, because if it didn't pay out with anything there at the end, I would have looked like a huge doofus. 
<laughs> our auto attacks are worthless now, by the way, but our, um... I venture to say we have the funniest spell for this combo. Oh yeah? Gotta come out of the ground there again. This is a uh, Ascendant Napalm Edition. Oh, if this is a... Doesn't matter, had Firestorm. <laughs> so, challenge rooms are nothing now. Um, keep this up, and this could be a hilarious winning run. And, uh, I'm gonna post- I'm, I might post this on Reddit when I'm done. This is so stupid. <laughs> I've never posted it on Reddit before, but I, I, like, lurk all the time. And this being my first ever <laughs> run being seen on Reddit would be hilarious. Okay. Ooh, I got hit. I think the best thing about this is it doesn't care about floors at all. So I can just sit and look at the mini-map on who I want to kill and just be like, well, he's over here now, so... <laughs> oh, okay. So now we, ha we have plenty of influence to go to the item shop. I'm... <laughs> If I get another spell, I don't think I'm going to take it. Breath of Zephyrus. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I used that on my losing run last time on um, the final boss, whatever his name was. I, I, I never went back to like read it, but um, I used that on him and it didn't seem to like do anything, so kind of salty about that breath. Okay, so... Spirit of the Pupil. Heal on stat pickups. Genesis, no. Keys, yes. So we have generous um, health on the ground, so if we do manage to take all of our health... Oh my god, if this is the sisters... Or... Oh! The Alchemist, if we fight the Alchemist, this is going to be hilarious, because we're just going to, like, stack up Firestorms under him, and he's going to lower his shield and just die instantly. So, um, as long as I can keep a cool head, I'm pretty sure... Okay. Sisters confirmed. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. The, the further they travel, the more damage they do? Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that travels a pretty far distance. Um, I'm not sure if that actually affects my damage at all, but just the thought of it is great. I'm so glad I recorded tonight. Thank you, Midas, for bringing us this hilarious adventure. I'm just gonna let you think about what you did there. <laughs> okay. Why am I checking this shop? Because I have the keys and I want to know if I need to go back. And if it's a blood shop. Which it's not. Seeker. Uh, greater Barrage. Hmm. Interesting. 
Greater Barrage is another shotgun type spell, I believe. But I just I love this so much that I don't know if I'm willing to pass for that. Like infinite fire pots. max mana. Oh, I got influence somewhere on this round. Thank you. Challenger? Okay. How many can I kill? Oh. Look at the bodies. Look at the bodies. The game's losing frame rate. <laughs> the game's losing it. I'm, I've still got 10 seconds left. <laughs> the bodies are about to hit me. I don't know if I can... <laughs> okay, Spirit of the Healer. More health drops. Alright. <laughs> How I don't, uh, um, yeah, that's, that's why I kept this spell. <laughs> um, yeah, this is like easy mode run now, and uh, after saying that, I kind of need to be the game. giant flamethrower of my life. Like, that. How is that okay? <laughs> One key. What's interesting about this run is that I don't aim for my enemies with my skills, spells. I just aim near my enemies with my spells. There we go. More health. Not sure why I jumped into that. I was like, where's the door? It should be down here. Not, not the case. gonna deal with that. Taking no nonsense from no ninjas. I was kind of afraid that this spell would hurt myself at first, so the fact that I can just do this to the game is hilarious. Thanks. It's okay. Go to sleep. When I like crosshatch them like that, it's impossible for them to get past me. I don't even know what I'm hoping for out of this. Uh, not that. Triples damage of launched pots. 60% uh, chance for influence drop. Yep. Um, I think that could actually synergize with this pot, but the reason the pot's good is because I can do this. Normally I can only throw one. 
per um, not per mana bar, but now I can throw infinite power. So let's go back to the shop. No way to go down here, so let's actually beat our boss first, see what happens. The automaton. I have a cool plan for the automaton. Are you are you are you kidding me? <laughs> Insane. <laughs> so now we have that double jump we've always wanted. I'm sorry I'm laughing so hard. This is just so uh, so ridiculous. This this run. The game was like, oh, you want to win? There you go. Um, you you beat the first level and you you bet over like 400 influence on a random room. You kind of deserve it at this point. I spent that much and I still have 90 for this shot. This is so odd. I'm gonna take this spell homing. How's that gonna work for you? Do the flames curve <laughs> or something like that? Whatever. I should have known what that... I've, I've had that spirit before. I should know what it does by now, but um, I'm still new to the game. Even though the game tells you what it does. I don't know if it's like a Binding of Isaac situation where like some of them are not entirely accurate on their descriptions, but... Okay, I think we're in summer now. And... Uh, even if we die, this has been like one of the most fun runs I've had with Ascendant, so I hope you've had fun despite my um, insanity during this. I have that, which looks imposing, but it does like one damage, and then I have this, which is... <laughs> Can you kill that? Be a deer and kill all those things. There we go. There we go. So the ninjas aren't terribly hard, and we've already got two full hearts on this level. Uh, that spirit of the healer is definitely helping us out. Max mana means nothing to me, but thanks for the thought. Okay, all of you just jump down here. That's fine too. I love how after I've got my setup, I can just watch them die. So let's... Ooh, just what I've always wanted. <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep this up. We killed him. How did we kill him? I didn't even see his heart go <laughs> down. Um, let's take the compass. And, uh, yeah. That was interesting, to say the least. We got our health. We've got a whole new floor to discover. Okay, we killed everything somehow. I'm not even like paying attention to the layout of floors anymore, I'm just doing them. Right in the butt. So I do feel a lot safer exploring this floor. 
since we have so many hearts on the ground, there we go. Basically, if they get trapped in my vortex of uh, of leaves, they're just screwed. Yeah, no. Just gonna be the smarter person and say no to that room. All I touch turns to gold. Let's see what's in our shop. You know what? You're just being silly now, but I'm gonna go with it. <laughs> if I get six more, I'm gonna buy that Spirit of the Dwarf. So then I'm hard to kill. I've got a double jump. I've got this. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> IR death. To the left of here. We're almost done with this floor. I keep not using my uh, poison either, which is actually could be a very good part of this run. Just not really using it. We did get hit, but remember we have a lot of possibilities to heal up on this game. More health? I do have increased rate of drop for health. And where is that room? I guess I have to go up and around to get in there. It's kind of lame. Yeah. See how you like it. go. Getting that spell damage up. Wow. Yeah, I just like set up the room and then wait and then it's like a flamethrower just kills them all. You heard a loud buzzing. Thanks. Oh, I got so excited, and that, um, that health upgrade turned to gold. Oh, well. I did get influence, so I can go buy Spirit of the Dwarf, so we're gonna be tiny again. I want all of my winning runs to be tiny. <laughs> get to the last boss of the game. Not tiny. Quit before beating him. <laughs> That'd just be silly. So, um, this is gonna be a long episode. Um, unfortunately, instead of, um, as opposed to runs that have massive physical damage, this run is not gonna have massive physical, it's gonna have massive magical, but on a setup basis. So, instead of being able to, to come in and just press X like five times and kill things, I need to, like, set up the room like that, and then just kind of milk it and dodge which makes room stop. Thank you, Armored Hearts. That was really dumb. I was focusing on talking. Um, which makes the game take a little longer, but it's a really fun playstyle, and that's kind of what I was hoping for out of a uh, out of a twig run. Is like a really interesting, um, <laughs> like fun run. And Midas getting the twig is just hilarious because he can buy basically whatever spell he wants throughout the game can't break those pots, those are just... How did he die? I'm still just distraught by how he disappeared. I feel feel really bad for him. He's just, like, minding his own business in his shadow world and he just dies. Okay. What's in here?
that's also one thing I can start doing. My weapon doesn't deal damage, but it does have knockback, so I can just, like, smack people into my spells if they're not in line with it. see that he cast a spell there. There we go. Took a while. Okay. I wasn't paying attention. I, uh, I was looking at the mini-map there. Yeah, no. Sorry. Thank you for that health. Yeah, no. Sorry. And what's in here? So, we like absolutely need to uh, have them jump in here. Come on, guys. Okay, this is just getting silly. Can this hurt me? Yes, they can. No! <laughs> uh, that's a no. Not picking it up. Um, thanks, game. That would be a very dangerous run and a fun one to watch, but... Um, no. <laughs> just gonna go ahead and say that. those pots because they just haunt you for the rest of the level. Okay. There we go. Give us more health. That's okay too. Shop down here. See what's in you. So that oh thank you. So that when we get influence we can come back. I say when, I should say if. But we're getting late enough in the game that um strong arm. Don't know what that does. Do I have that discovery? I'm gonna be really sad if I pick it up later and it ruins my run, but I don't have the discovery, so. Gotta, gotta do it if I get enough for the spirit. Because I need to know for future runs if those are good or bad, so... Um, strong arm seems like it's like a physical-based upgrade, but... Um, now, I've never had a spirit that had a negative effect as well as a positive effect. It's always been just positive, so... I don't think that it could, like, lower my spell damage. It could just be really good for... Jesus. Stagger. Not exactly what I want. It's okay. We're starting to get the influence enough to buy the strong arm.
god, just die. Okay. So, we have almost enough. There you face my gauntlet. Influence to go visit the shop and get that strong arm. Maybe it's uh, it makes pots deal more damage when you hit them at people. By the flavor of the uh, the text, it seems like that could be it. Pot damage up. That is totally what it is. I sincerely wonder. Does. Does my spell count as pot damage? Does that count? If it does, that's insane. This is gonna be the best run ever. Let's go up. Mm, might as well find out if that has health in it. I think sometimes pots do respawn, which is strange to me, but... Um, whatever. Twenty more influence. Two more rooms? There can't be anything special up here because I have the this game's equal one of the compass, so I know that for a fact. Just the random ch uh, chest chance is good enough for me to check. I'll destroy you just with the pots and leaves. <laughs> Let's go visit our boss. Um, I think this is the second stage of summer. Which does that mean? Hermit? It does. This could get messy, because this could obscure my vision. Oh! Easiest hermit fight ever. You've got to be kidding me. So now while that business is going on, I'm doing that to try to double the damage that those are going to do. Uh, this is some synergy. Certainly some synergy. Early winter. So, 49 minutes. I could probably try to get the probably could have tried to get the achievement of beating the game in uh, less than an hour, but you know what we're gonna do? We're not gonna make the mistake of last time. We're going to rush the boss, and yeah, if there's a special room on the way that we happen to be able to visit, we can, what? we can do that too. 
However, gotta conserve this health. I say that, and then I go this way. No, not cool. Promised me more health game. Okay, gotta check this challenge. What? What are you? Speed up. What are you? No. Actually? Two very funny spells for this, but no. Armored Heart? Armored Heart? I'd venture to say this. I'm very glad I went to this challenge room. That's what I'm hoping for out of this room. I decided to use the breath now. Why? Um, wasn't gonna get hurt by it? I don't know if it can hurt me. I don't know if there's any bad breaths. Oh, we're fully he fully healed. Extra heart, just in case we lose one on the way to the boss. We're gonna spend the rest of our money to see if we can get more armor hearts. So, that... Might be a little while if it decides to start paying out with more influence. Okay, there we go. Not sure why the chest came up here. Another heart. Let's do this. There's no way you're the being behind all this. So where is he? That's the least of your worries. What's that supposed to mean? It means you should beg for mercy while you can. Hold your insolent tongue. Are you going to turn me to gold? Put me in your foyer alongside your family. That's it. Time to burn you. Did I strike a nerve? Chuline. Chulane? This isn't over. I'll catch up with you. Then you'll truly know pain. Defeat only. Quiet. You've outlived your usefulness. Humbaba will crush you. And I'll find you soon after. Then you can rejoin your family. You'll all be trophies on my wall.
another Zephyr. Mm. No. Gonna keep what we have. And I'm not gonna go back because we've got a winning combo here. We just need to beat this game. That's all we need to do. Late winter. Boss room is up and to the right. Let's see how fast we can get there. My pots actually deal damage. I think it's all the uh, the leaves that I put on them if I do this. There you go. Up. I think there's a secret in there, but whatever. Okay. This should be it. Gonna take it. Humbaba. You must be that guy we've heard all about. Don't care. Phase. I'm Baba down. I uh, don't need another blessing of Komodo. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, that's new. Um, let's go into it. New loading screen. Where am I? Astral. Winter game. Winter came. Spirit of the Thief. Lock picking. Breath of Kali. Oh my god, this is a new... <laughs> this is a whole new world. Not the Aladdin sort of way. Well, I guess kind of. Why can I shoot through the ground? Do it. If I'm gonna beat the Astral on any run, it's gonna be this one. Okay. That's why. Ooh! Is that the room? 
We got a lot of health. Oh my god, there's five bosses. There's no special rooms on this besides the boss rooms, so... Let's go back and grab this heart, just to be maxed out. Ah, so this level is, uh, I haven't really talked much about this level, but it's kind of tripping me out. It's super cool looking. Oh my, I have to fight all the bosses again! No, this is insane! Multiple bosses in one fight. Okay. Hmm. No, no team it for me. But we will go back and get more health, if we can. I think you can. Yeah. So, one out of five boss rooms down. I hope you're proud of me, you two. This is it. This is going to be probably our definitive run for at least a while. Is this what I need to do to win every time, is look for a bullshit combo like this? Is that what I need to do? Will that make you happy? Okay, that's all the health in this room. I think there's two more in the starting region, actually. And there's a lot of hard enemies here. Um, everyone's healthier, everyone's um, faster, it seems like. Uh, they deal more damage, obviously, and um, I'm still just me. Uh, just me means I have infinite fire pots, but... And it gave me um, the lockpicking skill, which is great, but it like I haven't seen anything that would need to be unlocked here. So, And luckily for me, I have a little bit of extra knowledge because I have the Seeker, so I reveal all, all the secret rooms. And um, that way I know that there's so many boss rooms. Ooh. Jump height up. And that's not a full health. Okay, so it heals us after every boss fight, at least. That's an enemy's one. So there are alchemist firebombers here. Okay. 
so many enemies. We can kill any enemies before we go that way. That's how we take out those guys. What? Okay. This should be a lot harder than it is, <laughs> just because um, I have this, so there's no way it's supposed to be this easy. Like, I'm not even, it's not even that easy right now, and I have this really stupid combo. backtrack for that health, but that's okay. We'll get more health later, and um, I do have this blessing that'll full heal me if I'm in trouble later, so I'm not too worried about taking this health. And if we want to be super careful in the later levels, um, we can go all the way back to the beginning for another health pot. So, not a health pot, a, uh, just health in general. Looks like it gives us three every time. Thank you, Astral Plane. You're so kind. That's actually more than it gives you after a boss fight in the normal plane, except you get, like, chest chances and stuff, so... Moment of Truth. Who do I fight now? It has to be, like... I already fought the sisters, so I don't think they'll bring them back. It might be the two automatons or some bullshit like that. Okay. Please don't listen to my advice and make two automatons fight me. Okay. Interesting. Considering I can't stagger these guys with it. Oh! Faster burrower! Not just to see the burrower, but he's super fast now. Okay. Okay. One more hit. Come on. Work with me here. Okay. I'm okay with that fight. No way. Okay. No. Actually, no way. <laughs> That's not actually that good. I already have that on my spells. I don't think they stack. So, health. 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 
Ugh, spells ignore shields. Oh my god, another health. I believe that's another health breath. We need to check it before we use it. Yes, heals four hearts. I don't think this zone is made for this spell, so it's just kind of like going through the ground if I'm on it. Like, that shouldn't happen. Never tell where theirs are, because I'm always casting mine. Prison going for you. Ooh, minimized. Don't do that. we do is we go into the boss with just these skills. Oh, let's do it. Automaton down. Wow. And what we do now is we take that and we run back and heal, and get the other heal, before we leave. Two bosses left. Whew. It's getting tense. This is gonna be a really long video. Not So far it's not even as long as that time we beat it, because we lost a couple- of, well, we didn't beat it. We, uh, beat the first- um, <laughs> the first time through the game. We have to unlock something. This, if we didn't unlock something this time, it'd be kind of silly. There we go. Heals the needy. So. Almost got scared there. <laughs> Thought I had missed the plank. And of course it gave us another Zephyrus. Now, what I'm thinking I'm going to do, since I don't use my poison actively is replace my poison slot with a Zephyrus. Okay, I can't get around that. I was kind of hoping there's like a hidden way to jump on. There we go. Hello, 
monster. Yeah, let's... So now we can essentially boost ourselves up to the top of rooms like this. Well, welcome, Respite. What are you? Summon slime balls on him. And then you. Breath of Loki. Of course you're the Breath of Loki. Nope. laughing and kill them. <sighs> Drop health. Piece of crap. Christmas. No, you don't get to move until you're dead. So that we don't have to use this if we don't want to, let's go back and get one of the hearts at the beginning of this level. I think that's pretty sound. S sound logic. Wow. So our maneuverability is good. Our uh, damage is ridiculous. Our boss killing power is really good, especially since this, uh, this version of the twig, I'm not sure if it did it last time. This version of the twig increases our boss damage, so we're going to pick up just that one. I do that because I don't want to waste half a heart. I don't know if I'm going to need it for that last floor. Um, but let's do it. Let's finish this game tonight with Midas. <laughs> okay, so the automaton is already down. I can only assume it... yeah, permit. Please don't crash. Um, my, my OBS has crashed in the past, and if it crashes during this run, I will be the saddest person on Earth. What, are you gonna, like, spit out sisters this time or something? Hit the ceiling, dude. Thank you. Oh, you're kidding me. One more round of that bullshit? Make spells bounce, so that's not quite what we're looking for. Oh. What? 
Okay, so he's- we can't go back! The hermit blocked us off, so I should've- ah, I should've taken all that health with me before. Okay. Let's... Lightning aura on hit. Summons followers. We're gonna use that on the boss, whatever it is. Gotta die. Okay. I guess I'm just a key collector now. Oh. That's really dumb. It was casting it through the wall, so I couldn't tell what I was doing. Okay. Can't do this. We can't lose here. room than the final boss. And we're gonna have full health for the final boss. You know why? Because we're not gonna take any damage on this room. do for the rest of this is just kind of uh, troll them with pots. Sorry, my commentary is so not awful in this uh, particular run. I'm just obviously really focused. I, uh. Ooh. Not focused enough to avoid that guy. Oh, you're. You're just the best, game. Let's go back. Let's see if the hermit's gone. If the hermit is gone, we will definitely have full health, and I'll feel like an idiot for taking all that health, but. Uh, at the time, um, I wasn't really thinking, I was just like, oh god, it's gone! <laughs> All of the health is gone that I left behind. Um, that might be the case, and that might be actually why they place uh, the Hermit there, is to make sure you can't just like hoard all of the health. Okay, so we have what was full health before. Can we go back? The door's out there, it looks like, so no. Um, yeah, let's, let's do it. <sighs> so it's been fun. Uh, the map is full. The moon is not. And let's go kill whatever is waiting for us. Hopefully they're easily cheesed by fire pots like all of the other bosses in this game. Except for the burrower. The burrower was actually really hard with the twig. Um, I had to like bash enemies to death with my twig. 
That sound phallic. Are you ready? Let's do it. Oh, it's a shopkeeper. You've made it. This is the road's true end. And I am its sentinel. I've grown weary at my post. Demigods lead a life of ambition and grandeur. Here, I am cursed to watch those whom I envy. Waiting for one of you scurrying ants to ascend. But none have proved worthy to succeed me. Sending me back to the mortal realm. You're no exception. Now be gone and rejoin the ants. You are especially unworthy, Midas. You are blinded by greed. You are the one who is blinded. You make a poor sentinel. Only seeing what confirms your distorted ideas. You fail to realize that my touch is not whimsy. It is a tool, a means to an end. Your end. An end to this miserable curse. Ascended Hunter. Let's just set up a barrier. What's going on? Are we hurting weapons? We are. We're hurting his blessings and weapons. Do it! End it! <gasps> Impressive. But not in- What? No! <laughs> no! Oh, man. <laughs> oh, we got so close. Um... An hour and 25 minute run, highest damage 95, total damage 117.5671, okay. Enemies killed 475, enemies impaled 14, we got a lot of hearts, our nemesis was the burrower of course, successful parries only 7, 120 rooms, events 7. So there's our event rooms, not challenge rooms, like I've been calling them. Influence gained, 1,520. Influence spent, 700 and... Uh, 370. I think that's inaccurate. I think that means it shops. Breaths used, 7. Pots destroyed, 132. We unlocked Chulain. Defeated him in the martial combat and gained access to the astral plane. Um, Spirit of the Maniac. Defeated ver both versions of the Hermit. Defeated Humbaba. Defeated Humbaba. We unlocked a new orange. The Hand of Humbaba. Okay. Anything else? No. So let's see what our new character does really quickly, and then we'll end the video there. Mm -hmm. Lane gains damage the closer he gets to death. Shorter invulnerability after getting hit. 
Okay. Oh, and 313 is his balance. So, um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And uh, if you know how I could have survived, uh -huh, please leave a comment below telling me how. If you want to see more sent into the f ah, if you want to see more sent into the future, uh, go ahead and subscribe. I upload these pretty much daily now. So if you want to see more of me dying to the final boss, go ahead and click that button. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.